Can I just point out that it still continues today? The SME will claim freaking songs and stuff, or Chapel Warner. I mean, why do you gotta protect your brand so damn much that literally you've got this music going on? A buddy of mine, you know, brother of mine, the Black King, actually had a video. Actually, quite a few of them. They were claimed. And not only him, but so many of them with Final Fantasy VII in it. And it was like, okay, sometimes they'll claim it, and sometimes they won't. Some of them, like, it's more than one video, though. Not not every video, but, like, there's one video where there's a scene where they do this uh, deal. About, uh, even if it's loud or not, they just, like, they have to... They have to copy, they have to, to uh, basically copyright that. You know, even if it's not a review. It's like, um, yeah, why are you doing that? It's called fair use of trying to show off the game and trying to show how good it is. There is nothing bad about it. There's all positivity. I mean, yeah, the, the music could have still should have gone down some, I admit that. You know, or at least he does anyway, but, you know. And and the thing is, as well, is like, okay, there's like... A lot of, like, those who fight further is a heavily copyrighted deal. In other words, if you have it going on, it has to be either at a low volume or none at all. And here's the thing... <clears throat> Even videos that, because I'm gonna say this though before I get into that, because I gotta I gotta say that too in order to get into, I mean talk about it. I don't put up AMVs. I put nothing. I upload nothing to do with the videos, or I mean, music. You know, every bit of copyright, every everything that I do, is not copyright infringement, or intended to be that way. It is my own work, even though that sometimes I, I mean, I didn't do this in the past, but now I do. Is that I record my own video again that I've already done to edit it better, you know. Like if I, if I slip out some word I didn't want to say in the first place, but because the game pissed me off that much. But the game itself is not responsible. It's just I was not in the mood. It's just I mean I really can't blame the game, but sometimes you you, you can't help but blame the encounter rate. The encounter rate is atrocious. Let me tell you, and any game I've ever played has always been atrocious. Like I could play Mystic Quest all day long. There's no atrocity in uh you know, the, the you know, it, it, you don't have to worry about every two steps or whatever. You can do it at your own leisure. Like you can, like it's like playing it idle. Only you actually still have to do it manually. Whereas any other game who has random battles, and even games who don't have them are still like random. But the, even if they show them, it's still atrocious in the encounter rate because literally they will come and attack you. I've seen this perfect example in Final Fantasy XII. Oh yeah. So because XII was, I think the first one. I could be wrong. At least in the Final Fantasy series, to actually have battles that were no longer well, you can't see them but they were still sort of random oh yeah because if you left the screen and come back on the screen there'll be a different enemy you know or they have separate enemies in different ways but either way it doesn't matter it's still kind of random but in the fact that you still have to worry about oh gee I don't know I gotta be attacked so yes I have seen that clips of it anyway 
the thing is that Final Fantasy twelve is is okay, there's a lot of good things about it and there's a lot of good bad things. A lot, blah, 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 a lot of good bad things. A lot of bad things about it. So anyway, but back to what I was saying about, you know, videos of uploaded. They're they've been claimed and all kinds of stuff where they've been banned in my country because they like you know like and if and the stupidest thing is they want me to pay some other service because it's the only way to do it i mean even though it's supposed to be a free way to do it but if you don't know how and you you rather rely um because they're the only ones that can teach you how to do it but you still have to pay them a monthly premium it's like with that stupid damn robo call I'm sorry, but that was stupid. Because every damn time that they call, the freaking thing picks up at the same damn time. While it, no matter what you are doing, it interrupts something. That's as bad as when you have cameras that constantly interrupt you when you're trying to watch a movie. Like, I mean, it, it's not. A, it wouldn't be such a bad thing if you were doing it on TV or had some other way to to listen to music or whatever but you know the thing is it's bad that way otherwise it's still ridiculous because you got robocalls and you're paying how much a month god for it to automatically block the call I'm really not blocking the call anyway what it does is it just Sister and does something and goes through this process of blah 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 blahing. Well, it picks up and, and and does an automated message towards that automated message, and it's just stupid. I'm sorry, but I refuse to pay into something like that. And yeah, I've used credit to you to do that. That was dumb, and that was on Apple for God's sakes. I mean, what the hell, man? What the hell? I'll never pay for that again. Yeah. I'll never never do a lot of things. Because it's not worth it to me. A lot of people claim how, how good it is and all this. Yeah, okay. I'm sure glad it works for you. It don't work for me. I mean, I guess if you don't mind the, it picking up the phone and interrupting whatever you got to watch... Or if you're doing something, you know, like, or especially if you're checking your damn cameras. If you've got a security camera on your phone and you're trying to check what the hell is going on. Boy, I mean, I, I hate to be like, oh, crap, it crashed. And speaking of which, I still can't. I've done everything I can to try and fix the crashing problem with it's this, there's nothing I can do. So, it's not anything to worry too much about. As long as I can still play it and record, I don't really care. But what I have a problem with is is that, you know, it's just, it happens. So, but pretty much, I just want to say that all the copyrights that people are claiming from the past here, and this is past videos from a long time ago, that I have watched in the past, and it still continues on today. I mean, it's really stupid. I mean, you can actually upload a YouTube video of Final Fantasy VII all damn day long. As long as it has no volume on it. And any video you upload, it's like you're basically forced to go to, like say, Bit BitChute for God's sakes. Or anywhere else. Not Storyfire. Because Starfire is a joke. I'm sorry, but I mean, it's okay if you want to basically just type out crap, which I don't hardly ever do. You know, unless I absolutely feel like I need to address an issue or something. And even then, it's not as right, mainly as I do videos. Because I mean, I have a lot more videos than I have. I mean, just going, oh, I I, uh, I screwed up, for example. Or an example would be not just that. Well, I'm not, I have said that. But there's also the fact of, like, 
uh, times where uh, something was going on, and I just, I, I, I'm not really feeling it today or whatever. I don't know. I'm not good at this right now. I mean, I, you know, and what I don't get is now I'm getting told I'm repeating myself. Okay. When you say literal words like, I am, I have awakened. I mean, like, and people say you repeat yourself several times. Yeah, no, I only repeated it maybe twice. You know, and what's wrong with that? It's just extenuating the entire, si I don't know. I mean, I don't see a problem with it because I'm trying to extenuate how I feel and not turn it into something that's, you know, like I'm, I'm doing suicide, you know, the S word, suicide. And I mean, I don't, I'm trying my best to word it as best I can from a literal poem into words that I feel that describes how I, how I feel about things. And yes, this is an urgent video, but I want to say that I never put any racism out there, but I have said some things that I do not like. I mean, you know, and I, and to say, literally, you know, that's why I don't use them. I mean, I can't say I've never used them. I just never have used them in the context of a video or as often as I have. And by often, I don't mean like every few videos or every other video or whatever. I mean like literally, you know, and, and yeah, I feel like that I ramble on a lot. When I go to review a video, I try to make sure that whenever I'm doing an update video in general that I'm not rambling on. Or especially when I'm talking in a game and I start talking about things. I don't, I don't like to ramble on, but then I, it's just like, I have a lot to talk about, you know? And I just, I I have to talk about it a lot. It takes up time. That I, Well, I could be doing that, but I could also be doing play gameplay footage. But the thing is that at the same time, when you have a lot to talk about, it can take, like, several minutes. I mean, it can. It just depends on what you have to say. I mean, think about the presidential speech. <laughs> then, stuff like that. Where they can talk for freaking hours. And it's okay for them to do it, but nobody else. Like, no one else wants to read or, or hear what I gotta say. If I don't, if I, like, talk more than, say, about a few minutes about my day or... Whatever the hell else is going on. It's so stupid. But anybody else who is someone you want to listen to. The talks on and on and on. For hours and hours on end. You're okay with that. It makes no sense to me. None. Like with the cynical Brit. Honestly, I respect the man. I respect a lot of people who do talk for hours, but it don't seem fair to me that I can't do that. It just it don't seem fair at all. And I gotta say that, yeah, copyright should be done fairly, but they're still not doing it right. You know, frankly, it's ridiculous because you still have to go out of the way to find some other website. If you cannot upload a video or have it to where it's public, uh, even if it is public, but enough to where you'll get views on it. So, because that way you're not blacklisted, as they call it. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be racist. Or darklisted, as I try to say, because I try not to be, you know. But anyway, but basically, to the point that, you know, nobody wants to deal with you, hear you, or anything else. And honestly, I gotta say that in all my years 
I've none, never done this, and I still haven't done this for money. I've never done this for money. I have no reason to do it for money. I don't mind receiving money off of views and stuff like that if I were to do so, which is not a problem or an issue, is the fact that, generally speaking, you have to have 100000 or at least somewhere out of 1000 somewhere around there. I think, or something like that, to have to start earning income. Now they want to put live on there as where you have like a hundred thousand subscribers. I think that's stupid. I'd still do because, and I hate to repeat myself on it, but I will say this: that I don't think I actually added to do it. If I did, well, hey, I, I apologize, but I don't remember. Okay, and even if I go back and redo, I'm not gonna redo this. But anyway, and the fact that, okay, what was I going to say now? I forgot where I was at. I'm just tired. Let me do a lot of work in my house today and helping out with other things and whatnot. I even went grocery shopping, you know? If I did a recording today, a session, and I, here's the thing, I, um, uh, I don't remember what the hell I was talking about, to be honest, but basically, copyrights are still a thing, maybe they're you know, not as heavily out there as, a, like, a lot of other things, but, you know, you can still easily get copyrighted or copyright claimed. And it's really stupid, in my personal opinion. Because they have every right to claim your doggone video. And personally, I'll be like, uh, excuse me? Why? You know? What is the literal point of doing that? And especially, especially if... You know, when they say something about ads running on your on your doggone videos, and I don't even have it monetized. If I had it monetized, because I'd be earning money, and I can't do that because I don't have enough. I'm not qualified enough, and I don't have enough subscribers. I have to have enough subscribers, and, and I cannot literally express enough how people have faked. A crap tons of subscribers. The very few... The real ones are the very few ones. Literally. That are not theirs. That actually decide, okay, well, we're going to subscribe to that and we want to listen to this and that. You know, rather than listening to someone else who doesn't have as many subscribers because... Well, and they don't believe that they're faked. They are. They're literally created, and no doubt they made money somehow or another, or bought some way into doing it and broke themselves, but not really. But, uh, you know, to the point that they're going to expect more money. And I ain't saying that about everybody, but a lot of people have done this. And I could tell. Now, I cannot tell which ones, except for the one. well, no, I can tell because of the ones that come out of nowhere. Like, who the hell is this dude? And why should I subscribe to you? No, I can't. No, uh, no activity on your account. Your content is not that great. And you're just trying to copycat everyone. I'm, I guess I'm kind of doing the same thing. Except not really. I'm trying to, I'm doing it with all my love and passion. Because I spent a lot of time. And to me, it's not effortlessly because it isn't I put a lot of effort to this literally I put my heart and soul into this and I and I frankly feel like it's so underachieved that my videos have no value to them other than than to me and I don't seem to see how that's fair when because, I mean, 
it's fair to me in just one sense that okay, yeah, I, I I treasure them. Yeah, I would because they are my product, my property. Because I created the content, I created that video, that whole entire deal. You know. At the same time, I feel that it's like, why is someone else who is not as popular as me going to get more attention? I think it's stupid. You know, a lot of people, I would say, have earned it legitimately because, you know, it took time. It didn't just pop up right quick as a suggestion. You know, even if it's, it's like, it's basically it's like similar interests to the video I just watched or that I uploaded. I think it's stupid. And it's not really similar at all. Or even if it was, which sometimes there are, which I admittedly there are. I don't want to watch that person. I don't give a crap about you and your damn content. I don't mind helping out other people and whatnot. As long as I legitimately earn it. And in my personal opinion, you don't earn it with fake accounts. Because it's not right. But anyway. So, yeah, if you want to do shit like that, I mean, it's dumb. And see, the SME still has a bad tendency to claim videos, and so does. Warner Chapel. They own the apparent rights to the whole freaking song. You know? What I gotta say, I mean, literally, I think any amount of copyright is dumb. And I'm a small YouTuber. I don't see... See, I don't see myself as a YouTube giant. And I know that I have grown my... My channel just because I have a lot of videos. I would say that my channel would have grown with videos, subscribers, and views. If at all. And I'm not even a YT giant because... You know, and even if I was, they have had people that were giants. Like PewDiePie, they got flagged. Seriously, they have. Even Necroscope got a flag. You know. Even Necroscope 86 Archive has got flagged. It's redundant. But it happens. And there's nothing we can literally do about it. Other than, I mean, if you want to keep making content, well, that's fine and dandy. But don't expect it. No matter how many times you may re remove or remake a video, that, you know, once they actually put a copyright on there, they'll still do it, even if they haven't already. They will, if they feel the need to do so. They'll copyright it, like, yeah, no, sorry, you can't do that. And the thing of it is, is it's all informative information. And I gotta say, anything you do and want to do should be free to do so. Without the criticism of worrying about someone trying to shut you down because, oh, you decided to make a video. Even if it was like no commentary or even if it was like commentary with that there was more of voices where you read people's lines or whatever, you know, or nothing at all and let it just kind of play out. You know, it really shouldn't really matter. It's just that's the way you want to do it because your, your video is important because you'll, you'll legitimately earned subscribers. I had to say I'm not perfect either. I stutter sometimes and I don't mean to. But... I gotta go here a little bit, but I, I just gotta say, I mean, literally, YouTube is the worst place to go to. 
I mean, I don't mean that to say like, oh, they, well, they have bad service or whatever. But it's like, okay, in terms of what you upload, depending on what it is, it is the worst platform. It's like Facebook. Because of the heavily copyrighted claims, or, you know, because it's so heavily endowed with those that you cannot get away from that. Update videos are one thing, but if you were to, say, post up one with music from someone else, oh, you better believe it. You better not think for one minute, oh, they're not going to copyright your video. No, they will. As it is their right to do so, I suppose. I think it's redundant to stifle the creativity of someone who wants to just be able to listen to music. You know, even if they're not making money on it, they're going to claim that video. I think it's stupid. Personally. Because they're out there making money, money, money. <sighs> you know, and, and it's not even, it, it don't end there. They just keep on going with it like it's nothing. Like, gee, maybe I shouldn't um, stop making money. I mean, you know, from other people that aren't even making money, or even if they were, which in my case, I'm not, and I never have been, and I probably never will. Because I'm not really interested in brand deals either, but if I had to absolutely get a brand deal where I can get money, if I so needed it, to survive on, which, you know, if I couldn't get to where I am or I trade then yeah I would have to but even then even then I would not bother to absolutely ask for it I'd be like well yeah it has to be part of the package based off my views you know you know based off that what people see off my content you know it's mm -hmm. like what I see of someone else is they should be obviously getting money and not paid by advertisers. I don't want to be paid by an advertiser where they get to put adverts on my videos. I don't want adverts on my videos. I want to be able to enjoy videos advertisement free. And that's why I don't have it on there. Not because I don't want brand deals or whatever to be sponsored. Like, because I would rather it be like, yeah, you're trying to watch it, and you don't really want to take a break. I mean, you can still pause the video and come back. So here's a policy I believe in that I don't mention this very often. In fact, I don't think I've ever, if I have, well, it's not been in every video that I can remember. It's that if you can't watch the entire video right away, you can pause it. Say it's an hour long. Well, pause it and come back to it later. You know, even if you have to exit it out as long as it's still there and you haven't cleared it out of your history, you can finish it later. And that way you can keep up with it. That's what I believe in anyway. And that's fair enough to me, you know. And I'm not going to start copywriting, claiming anybody else's videos if they decide to upload my content. But, however, that is if they, as long as they... You know, give credit to me. I don't care. You know? Like, if I were to make a game, same thing. Here's the thing. I don't mind people actually critiquing my game. So, you know. I would definitely let people have a copy of it. I'm not going to sell it. But if I had to sell it, I would give out... Whatever you can possibly give me, not to, but I don't want to do it to where I'm undercutting anybody. I just want to make a good profit off of it, if I'm going to make profit of it. You know, if I get a uh, reasonable price that is being offered to me, otherwise it's all going to be really free. You know, and I think I and do believe that I deserve money, not just based on the fact that I have a game, but because. Well, you know, 
it's something that does need to be distributed. Without money, I really can't distribute it anyway. I could distribute it across the entire board. I mean, although online, I can, you know, all, you know, put all the across all I want to, but then if I did that, I'd have to start charging anyway. And frankly, you know, we can work out a deal, whatever you want to do for it. And nobody else would ever offer you that. That's the problem with, with things. People don't want to work with somebody who wants to make you a good deal. Like, okay, well, we can work it out, you know, we, you know, like, the pricing at a later time. In the meantime, I'm just going to call this an episode. And, um, basically end this because this is going to be one of them videos. I mean, I will say this, though, wrapping up, that I found a book of mine that I used to call the Chictionary eventually. Or rather, not really a text. It wasn't really full of chicks or anything. It's just, you know, <laughs> had friends' numbers on there. I don't even know if they're good anymore. Probably not as time goes by. But, you know, the thing is, I mean, I love them already. You could already tell that. But I will say this. If you think I'm going to... No, I'm not. And the thing is, it is, is the, one of my school friends, not mine, but a, a buddy's school friend that's the same one, like, um, is a kind of a person that's gone to another side. Can't play Red Blamer. I mean, you can't. But I will say this. You know, the, the guy, I what I don't get is for a woman who uh, stopped dating a guy, kept, you know, liked a, a comment, something about them, him wanting to date her. Still, so she was with her fiancé. There's a woman. And then she's never saying anything about my friend. In all these years. You know, and honestly, I didn't think, she, you know, he didn't think she was on Facebook, but, you know, you know, we're done with Facebook completely now. But yeah, I mean, literally. <sighs> I gotta say. It's been a great journey. By the time this comes out, it'll be a thing. And I promise you that any update videos that I do will be during gameplay. But it won't be like where I pause it and start talking and all this crap. I'm gonna be playing. Instead of just wasting time just talking and stuff. Because I don't want to... I mean, even though I might ramble on, but at least you'll know what's going on and whatever. And while I'm talking, and, and I can definitely give you an update what's going on with the game. And, uh, whatever. For right now, the entire schedule is set. So, you know. Um, yeah. I'm going to go to the last video. And then I'm going to quit. I'm not quitting YouTube altogether. I'm just going to quit this channel. You know, where I... Where I basically upload full content. Once I get it to a thousand, that's it. There'll be no more. I'm start with... Placing all my effort and everything on the one soul channel. Because I hate to say it, but it's time to leave. 
And truth be known, it's been a long time coming since I've been thinking about this on and off for years, been considering it. I haven't even considered not doing anything for a long time, but now we have it, and there you go. Any and all of the videos will be out there. You know, but the True Evil Show will never have an actual update video. Like, you know, with with it being there. Yeah. In concerns to the channel, you have to listen to one of us talk about it by one of us who was ever making a video and uploading. So. Yeah. And True Evil Show is something that will be also somewhere around the line live streaming. So, yeah. That has not changed. <sighs> Sorry, I don't mean to keep yawning, but I'm going, I'm just kind of falling asleep here. Yeah, right now, I've got all this going on until I can upload no more. I'll still, re I'll still uh, go ahead and release videos that I've already uploaded. Even if I no longer have them scheduled. You know. But other than that. Nope.